Please, sir, would a pose be all right? For private use exclusively. Ready? Smile. Smile. When it was first released more than 10 years ago, My Son the Fanatic did not attract much attention. Maybe it was that this story of a young British Muslim drawn into a world of fundamentalism and radicalism was just a little bit too strange, too exotic. Well, a lot has changed since then. And this movie is certainly topical, prophetic, and urgent. Everything is mingling already together, this thing and the other. Some of us are wanting something more besides model. What? Belief, purity. It's a story of Pervez, played by Om Puri, a great Indian actor in a marvelous performance. He's a cab driver, a Pakistani immigrant, trying to make a living and raise a family in an industrial northern British city. Here we'll be having my son's getting engaged party. He's marrying Madeleine, Madeleine Fingerhut, the top policeman's daughter. He impressed her no end. Pervez watches helplessly as his son Farid changes from a guitar-playing university student with a white fiancé to a religious extremist. A transformation that's, no doubt, much scarier now than it was then. Isn't it written that you will respect your father? This is particularly difficult for Parvez, who has embraced many of the secular opportunities and pleasures of the West without quite giving up on some of his traditional beliefs, including, above all, the belief in his own paternal authority. But this is one aspect of tradition that Farid, the son, unequivocally rejects. He sees his father as weak, hypocritical, and corrupted by the West. It makes me feel sick to have such a father. I never thought you were such a man. Now, it is true that Pervez has been carrying on with a local prostitute, wonderfully played by Rachel Griffiths. And this relationship may be the most emotionally resonant in the film, but not because the other relationships aren't genuine. And this is the screenwriter Hanif Qureshi's great insight. People can be identified by recognizable sociological categories, but each one is still a unique, complicated individual. And so, in My Son the Fanatic, we have the hot-headed religious extremist, the dogmatic and severe imam, the anxious and disappointed mother, the hard-working immigrant father, and the hooker with a heart of gold. How do you feel about things? The purpose of life, all that. How we should treat each other. Good, I think, where possible. The movie takes off from a somewhat familiar premise and develops some topical real-world themes. But Qureshi and the director Udayan Prasad are much more interested in real people and the essential messiness of human life. Remember two things. There are many ways of being a good man. And I will be at home. Will you come and see me? Now, My Son the Fanatic seems to foretell a lot of very terrible global things that happened after it was made. But it's a movie ultimately about how nothing that people do is predictable. What do you want? <laughs>